Tens of thousands attend largest pro-Palestine march in British history. Organizers say the demonstration in London was attended by 180,000 people. Here's a summary of the article. Holding Palestinian flags and placards in the pouring rain, tens of thousands of people on Saturday descended on the streets of central London to protest against Israeli attacks in Gaza and the rest of historic Palestine. Gathering on London's embankment, protesters marched past the Parliament buildings and through Oxford Street as they chanted, Free Palestine, and demanded an end to Israel's occupation. Some protesters lit flares showing the colors of the Palestinian flag as they gathered in the capital's iconic Trafalgar Square, chanting, Palestine will be free. Organizers, including the Palestine Solidarity Campaign and Friends of Al-Aqsa, estimated that at least 180,000 people attended the London demonstration, making it the largest pro-Palestine protest in British history. The protests came after Hamas and Israel agreed to a ceasefire on a Friday that saw an end to Israel's daily bombardment of Gaza that killed at least 248 Palestinians, including 66 children, since 10 May. Despite the ceasefire, Israeli forces stormed the Al-Aqsa Mosque on Friday after prayers ended in the afternoon, when hundreds of Palestinians had gathered to celebrate the ceasefire. Israeli forces continue to bar Palestinian protesters from entering the Sheikh Jarrah neighborhood of Jerusalem where residents face possible expulsion from their homes. The ceasefire between Israel and Hamas held in Gaza on Saturday as humanitarian aid began to enter the besieged enclave and as thousands of displaced Palestinians returned to their homes. This post received a score of 62,000, with an upvote ratio of 72%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. Not to be a downer. But remember back in 2003 when 750,000 plus people took to the streets in London to protest the upcoming Iraq war, the largest protest in UK's history, and then not only did the war still happen, but the UK also took part in it? Forgive me if I doubt the effectiveness of protests anymore. I would highly recommend Hope in the Dark by Rebecca Solnit. Gives a lot of perspective about how many actions must coalesce for true meaningful change to come and how protests often build the groundwork to create a tipping point. It's an enlightening read. Almost like a movement that never stops. Protests like these is the first step to agitate people. I remember last year in India when the students were protesting the newly formed citizenship law. Didn't really have much impact until the cops started using violent means and stormed the dorms. The whole nation was on the road, it really was like an uprising with people blocking roads everywhere. Did the law still go into effect? It did. Greater than organizers, including the Palestine Solidarity Campaign and Friends of Al-Aqsa, estimated that at least 180,000 people attended the London demonstration I bet the Met say less than half that. The Met has stopped making public estimates on protests so we will never know. Yeah, they didn't like how political it became. They'd much rather stay out of that kind of thing. I hate it when protests become political. No, they didn't like how political their estimates became not the protests. They started just go gauge how much of a policing issue each protest was, but people started taking their numbers as the 100% factual figure and using them for political reasons. The Met try not to touch politics with a 10-foot pole so they just stopped revealing their numbers altogether. Quite right. They don't need to get dragged into it. It's not a perfect organization but it does a lot of stuff really well. And this is bread and butter for them. No need to support either side. Absolutely. I'm baffled that people are missing the point that this is an issue over separation of duties. The police must be apolitical, or you get the Gestapo. A Gestapo on your side is still a Gestapo. The entire government, the peasants are quite upset about something aren't they? More like, ah, that sounds like the peasants rejoicing, we doing a great job up here eh chaps? Carry on. That view wouldn't surprise me at all considering they seem to be constantly gaining seats. That is a lot of people. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.